thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ Fulry, and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. I have stocked the back room. Um, I know it's it's kind of hard to show you guys the back room at this point, but just trust me, the back room is pretty stocked. I, I know there's an empty shelf here. That's going to be for future products. Uh, we are going to unlock another license today, and it looks like the back room is looking pretty good to me. Yeah, for sure. Um, we are going to be unlocking this license right here uh, today. Um, actually, we'll probably do it uh, after we're done with this day. And we're going to have fabric softener, paper towels, toilet paper, and toothpaste. And honestly, this might be the last the last product I unlock until the uh, developer gives us a bigger storage room. Because, man, it is rough. It is rough in here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do another day. I'm looking forward to waiting on some customers. Hopefully, I don't uh, be too mean to them. We're open right now. I wanted to talk about nostalgia with this game. I am looking at this place, and I mentioned this last episode. I'm looking at this store, and I'm thinking after the redesign, I am going to miss the old store from a nostalgic standpoint. Now, a couple of people did say in the comments, and I really think about this stuff very, very hard, guys, just so you know. Um, even if I don't do what you say in the comments, I read the comments and I take them into consideration. So... A couple of people said in the comment section that they are going they don't want me to redo the store. They think the store layout is going to be awesome and we should just keep it. And they feel like uh if, if if I redo it, it might not be as good, or they might miss it from a nostalgic standpoint. And I get it. I get it. It's gonna bother me to do it too. But here's the thing: we have to keep moving forward. We have to keep moving forward. If we don't redesign the store, we're getting stuck with the same store layout for a long time. I think it would be, even if even if the new store layout is worse, and it probably will be, but <laughs> even with this, even if the new store, store layout is going to be worse, I think we'd be better off with something new. I think it makes the, uh, the Let's Play more exciting, and, you know, and, and that's it. It's just, it's an evolution, and we, and we don't want to, we don't want to keep getting stuck in the same spot. Like, like Johnny Lawrence, you know, taught us in Cobra Kai, if you don't keep moving forward, you will get stuck like in cement. Okay, if you haven't watched Cobra Kai, go watch it. What are you, what are you doing? Well, actually, watch it when this episode's over. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, so that, that's kind of my... Hold on, lady. 275 I think you bought the cheapest thing in the store. Hold on. You're banned. You're absolutely banned. How dare you come in here and buy one item for, for that, that price? you got to be joking. Don't ever come back here again. Get the hell out. All right. How's it going, lady? Uh, 39. Could you imagine this lady, like, next in line? Like, what's this guy's problem? He's got problems. You know how, you know when you go to the store, they have the 10 items or less, uh, checkout lane? Well, I have a, I have a two items or more. And it's for the entire store. If you're gonna buy one item, then just leave the item, uh, okay, if you're gonna buy one item and it's under $10, leave the item on the floor and get out of my store. That's it. That's, that's how I roll here, dog. Yo, register one's open, people. Register one is open. Hey, you. Hey. What, what's wrong with my register? Look at this line. Oh, he's got all the ladies, man. Freaking. Uh, he's, he's always getting all the ladies. What a joke. Oh, okay. I got a lady, too. Messed up hair, but she's a nice she's a nice lady. I like this lady. She never just buys one item. Four seventy five. Have a nice day. And this guy's like, yeah, what's up? How you doing? He's, yes. I had a friend like that when I was a kid. And he'd always get all the girls. He's a good looking dude. <laughs> you know? You have that one friend, you're hanging out with him. And, and every single girl in the friend group, or anyone we meet, or anyone we come across, just drooling over this guy. Drooling over him. And it made for a very, very rough childhood for me. <laughs> he was one of my best friends. So you just got to kind of deal with it. But ugh, what a nightmare. <laughs> Anybody, anybody in the chat ever had that? I mean, there was one time where I was doing pretty good with the ladies, too. So it was a different friend group. But if I was hanging out with that guy, forget it. I ain't getting no chicks. Just don't even bother. Have a nice day. It'd be like having, like, I don't know, like Ryan Reynolds as a friend. Or, I don't know, think of some other hot guy. Um, uh, uh, Charlie Hunting. Charlie Hunting? Is that how you say his name? Hunting? I don't know. The guy, you know, the guy in... Uh, in friggin' Sons of Anarchy. Imagine having that guy as a friend. Go go out with him somewhere. Good luck. Good luck, buddy. 
Even even if even if he went home with one of the girls or got one of the girls, all the other girls were like, I'll just wait my turn. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, good times. How's it going, bud? Alright, here we go. Looking good. And there you go. Have a nice day. Have a good one, brah. Alright, who's next? Oh, old sweater guy. Sweater guy likes uh, sushi. Yeah, I, when I think of a sushi person, I think of someone who wears sweaters. I don't know why. But that, that tracks. That tracks. What's going on, Psycho Sid? I can't wait for the um, thievery update when I can hire, uh, you know, some kind of um, security guard. And I'm going to hire Sid. And then I'm going to give him a bat. And I'll be like, Sid, if I point at someone, just start bashing their knees until they can't walk no more. That's it. That's all I want him to do. Just start bashing their knees until they until their legs don't work, you know? And then that way, if someone's stealing, I just go, you guys can't see because I don't have a webcam, but trust me, I'm pointing, you know? Although maybe if I go to scratch my nose or something, he'll think I'm pointing at somebody and start, start breaking some poor guy's knees and didn't even do anything. Oh, man. All right, maybe that's not the best idea. Right, whatever. It would be funny. I'd probably get sued, have to pay their, their medical bills. Whatever, I'm making bank. I'm store level 89. I can afford their medical bills. Hey, Stone Cold. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Oh, he's got a beer. Stone Cold likes the beers. Although I think he likes canned beers. But we don't sell canned beers, so. Why don't we sell canned beers? Are any of those beers in cans? I think these bit No. I think these I think these beers are in bottles. Because they're the same ones that we sell over here. By the way, those beers look like hot sauce. They're too small. And they look too... Like, hot saucy. They need, like, suds in them or something. I don't know. They, just, they don't look like beer. 130, 25. Have a nice day, man. All right, who's next? Who's next? Line one's open. Oh, Dapper Dan. What's up, Dapper Dan? Hey, Frank. Come on, man. Frank. Frank. Frank, don't, Frank doesn't come to my um my register anymore. Hey, Frank, did you get did you get it? No, he didn't. See, that's why Frank doesn't come to my register anymore. One time, I know that not everyone here watches every episode. One time I was following Frank and I, I can't, you can't even make this up. That's Frank right there, by the way. You can't even make this up. He grabbed a bottle of shampoo and I have not let him live it down. So that's why he doesn't come to my register anymore. I guess that's fair. I probably wouldn't either. Have a nice day. All right. Yo, Dapper, this is Dapper Dan. In case you didn't know. All right, register one's open. Come on, guys, register one is open. All right, there we go. Oh, are we going to get uh, Hottie McHotterson here? Uh, 113. Oops. 25. Have a nice day. Nope. Nope. She doesn't like, she doesn't like going to my register either because I don't know. I don't know why. Ah, oh, women. <laughs> oh, we got her. She's, she's cute, too. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Maybe I don't like the how you doing. Uh, 116. 25. How's it going? Hey, how's it going, lady? This is one of those plastic ladies. One of these mannequins that came to life. I get a lot of mannequins that came to life and, and come into the store. I, I wouldn't imagine a mannequin that come to life would, would need food, but here we are. Maybe they're buying it for someone at home. I don't know. Have a nice day. So we need 34,000 whatever uh, for the license. We are already way past that, which is awesome. I already have, I think I have spots for for all the license items that I'm going to buy. So yeah, I mean, you know, it's pretty good. One other thing that like kind of blows about the license is when you have more stuff, it just takes longer to order and it's kind of annoying. But yo, Dapper Dan, what's up, buddy? Looking fly. One twenty. Kids still say that today, right? Looking fly. I'm pretty sure I've heard kids say that somewhere in the 90s. <laughs> uh, 72, 75. Have it going. All right. There we go. Damn, this guy's getting a lot. Oh, I love it. I love it. 255. That's what I'm talking about, dog. 4, 4, 25. Have it going. Hey, there she is. How's it going? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. One dollar. Have a nice day. Hey, how's it going, bud? You guys look a little bit like my stalkers. 
All right, 177.25. Have a nice day. There we go. Okay, looking good. A lot of cereal. Somebody's got kids at home. Nobody buys that much cereal unless they have kids at home. I mean, adults like cereal too, I guess. I don't know. Anybody in uh, chat like cereal? I, I think most of my, if not all of my audience is adults. So I don't think I have to ask um, <laughs> ask your ages. But does anybody, does anybody in my chat like cereal? I mean, I like it. Oh, let me put it this way. Does anybody in my chat eat cereal? Like, regularly. Somewhat regularly. Like, once a week. Something like that. Oh, this place is dope. Dope! I don't see anything that's low here, either. There's a couple things. Oh, here we go. Alright, you know what? Let's just uh, set that order up. No, no, no. Don't order anything. Because we're going to be opening up more stuff. And... I got to figure out how I'm going to deal with this. Uh, toilet paper is going to be easy enough. We'll just buy another rack for the toilet paper. Um, it's the... It, you know what it is? It's the freaking... I'm sorry, not toilet... Well, oh, are we getting toilet paper too? Ah, oh, crap. Toilet paper and paper... T uh, I want the paper towels. I don't want the toilet paper. <clears throat> that means I'm going to need to maybe put some of these toilet papers together. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we're out of toilet paper. That's perfect. So then I can move them together. So what I'll do is I'll buy um I'll buy a new stand. I'll put it right here, and then I'll I'll merge these two onto one rack. Okay. And then the fabric softener is going to be a pain. I'm telling you, it's going to be a pain. I'm thinking I'm just going to put these two together. Oh, if I'm going to put those two together, let's take those off. There. There. There and there. Okay. There we go. So what we'll do is I will... um I'll put these two together. I, I don't think these get used enough. Also, somebody said this is bug spray. But I thought it was like a cleaning product. I mean, like, bug spray is different than a cleaning product. Let me take a look really quick. I'm just kind of curious. Um, yeah, it says cleaner. So I don't think it's bug spray. Unless it's just like a cleaner designed for, like, bugs. I, that seems weird, though. I don't... I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know. Maybe it is. All right. Everybody done? Okay, guys. Let me know in the comments. How many negatives do you think we got today? I'm going to say 22. I know that seems high, but... Oh, wow. That was really high. Holy moly. I got to start charging more for things. That's too low. That's too low. Products found expensive that low. You're not charging enough. So I have to clear out some shelf space here. So I just went ahead and ran another day. Just to clear some stuff out. I wanted the toilet paper to be cleared out. I went ahead and bought another shelf and put it down. So I also got these two things on the same shelf. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to unlock another uh, another license. Wait, why do I have stuff like this? All right, whatever. I'm just going to get rid of that for now. All right, let's go ahead and unlock another license. That's not where the license are. Let's pay our bills as well. License unlocked. There we go. So let's go ahead and buy some of those new items. They will be at the bottom. Cool. Look at all this stuff. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm just going to buy five of each. Because why the heck not? Okay. Now let's see where we want to put these things. All right. I also have some stuff over here. Um, it's the cleaner. I took the cleaner off the... Shelf, so I could move cleaner around and stuff. Not really important, but... Alright, so this is the fabric softener. Here we go. Looking good. This is more... Fa now, where am I going to put the fabric softener? Alright, so this is for the toilet paper only? Or I could put fabric softener here, too. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll put the... Man, I really wanted more than four of each kinds of toilet paper. Um... But that's kind of where I want the fabric softener. Let's just take a look. Yeah, you know what? Forget it. Just put the fabric softener there. That's where it goes. All right. So here we go. We got the, um, uh, what do you call it? Toilet paper. So, wait, toilet paper. Oh, yeah. Toilet paper. Okay. So which toilet paper would I like to have a full shelf of? That's, that's the question. I'm going to put these right there. Let's see which one has the biggest, um, what do you call it, uh, profit margin. 
and then we'll decide there. All right, so this one's, uh, this is, first of all, let's make sure it's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's about six bucks there. This one is seven bucks, roughly. Yeah, about seven. And this one will be 19, eight. Okay, yeah. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to have two shelves of those. Since it's the highest profit, it's the biggest profit margin. Oh, wait a minute. I have, I have the paper towels, too. Never mind. I guess I can't do more than two. That's okay. Not a big deal. That is, um... Let me see. Ah, you can't see the thing anymore. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's paper towels. Yep, paper towels. All right. Uh, right. We're going to go 20 bucks on these? Yeah, let's do it. All right, that's cool. So three things of toilet paper and then paper towels right next to it. That makes sense to me. Uh, so three things of toilet paper and then paper towels. Oh my goodness. Where am I going to put the fabric softener? We can't put the fabric softener here. We got to put the paper towels here. Which one are the paper towels? Are these the paper towels? I can't tell. I'm pretty sure these are the paper towels. Let me just see. Yes, compact is the paper towels. Okay, good. I don't know where I'm going to put the fabric softener, man. We got to find a place for it. Can't put it here. I'd love to put it here, but I can't. I almost want to move something out of here. But I really don't want to start moving stuff around. But I want this. No, this has got to go here. This is the this is the cleaning, you know. Uh, I, I don't know. Would you consider fabric softener a cleaning supply? I mean, you use it after you clean stuff. So I'm going to consider it a, a cleaning supply, even though maybe it's not. Oh, boy. Um, maybe I'll move the potatoes out of here. Do we have any room for the potatoes? Oh, I can put the potatoes on this shelf, although I have a little bit of um, overflow on this shelf. It won't be there forever. So, yeah, I could put the potatoes right here. Okay. Oh, well, french fries. Is six, pota is six potatoes enough? I kind of like eight. I'm going to be... Darn it! I have just been doing a ton of stocking. So, my stocking guys, they're doing great. I'd like to imagine I hired one of them and then cloned the other three from the DNA of the first one. You guys, what do you think? I mean, why would I be paying clones, though? I don't know. Maybe they, maybe, they, I mean, are they people? I don't, all right. I don't know. It doesn't have anything to do with the game. Anyway, <laughs> so this old toilet paper uh, has less profit margin than the new stuff. So I only have uh, one shelf divided between these two and the other uh, toilet paper is its own shelf. And the paper towels also have a higher profit margin. And there we got this shelf right here. Uh, right here, I put the fabric softener right next to the other. I, I kind of think this is a uh, laundry detergent. So I put the fabric softener right next to it. So that's one, two, three. And then there's a fourth item. The fourth item is tooth toothbrushes or toothpaste. And I put that over here. So let's go ahead and give these things $7.75. Let's go at $8 on that. Nice profit margin there. I like it. Uh, we did all of these. Those are, those are, yeah, I think I did this before. I stocked for a really long time. So I don't remember exactly where I left off. Uh, yeah, those are good. And here, uh, we're going to go at $10 on that. All right, one, two, three, and four. Okay, great. So I just freaking ordered and ordered and ordered. You can tell I have no money left, but everything in here is looking pretty good. Uh, right here, I have the old toilet paper there, the old toilet paper there. We got the new toilet paper here, the paper towels here. Um, on this side, I put the... Um, fabric softener here and I put the toothpaste up there and look at this man this is this place is just packed absolutely packed all right cool let's open up let's make some money we gotta make some of that money back man I spent a lot of money <laughs> open it's weird I mean like I believe I did like an hour of stocking and when you like I put on a YouTube video and I'm just stocking 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 and then an hour later I don't remember what I talked to you guys about <laughs> before I cut the video so I try not to repeat myself, but if I am, uh, that's the reason. Uh, or maybe it's because I'm getting old. It could be both, I guess. Let's take a look in here. Everything's looking pretty good. I'm not seeing anything that's a problem. Yep, yep, yep. That all looks... Yeah, man, this place is... This place is stocked, bro. Freaking stocked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. There we go. So sometimes that little um, closed checkout sign, like, goes away. So like you'll think it's open, but it's not. So you gotta look at it. If it says if it says open checkout and you don't see that little sign, it's be it's because the sign disappeared, but it shouldn't have. All right, everything's looking good. 
This place is phenomenal. Uh, what is today? Today's Sunday. This is going on Monday. Guys, this might be the last time you see this layout. Uh, there, there's a good chance I might not reorganize. I don't know. But I'm, I think I'm going to. I think it would be... Um, it would be interesting. Like I said in the beginning of the video, even if the store is worse for it, if, if the rebuild, the reorganization is not as efficient or as good as this one, I think it would still be interesting to see something new. So that's, that's kind of my thought process. You know, if I wasn't a YouTuber, maybe I wouldn't. Um, I don't really know. What I really want to snap into place. I want stuff to snap into place. That's what's really, like, bothering me the most. Because, um... Ugh. And I know some people like the freedom of putting stuff wherever they want, and that's cool. But you could always make the snap into place optional. Like, I've seen a lot of other games doing it. Uh, what, what they'll do is they'll be like, snap into place, and then you hold down, like, the alt key or something, and it unlocks it so you can put it wherever you want. So. Yo, register one's open, people. Dapper Dan, let's go. We need a name for that. For that, um... Uh, yeah, we need a name for her. What, what, what do you think we should name her? Like... I don't know, like, like, I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm gonna have to think about it. Like, Jasmine or something. Something like that. <laughs> have a nice day. Hey, what's going on? Mannequin lady. Uh, I don't think she heard me. Have a nice day. Mannequins can't hear very well. Okay, 3925. Have a nice day. Why am I calling her Mannequin lady? Because she looks plastic. There's, there's a couple customers in this game that just have, like, a plastic look to them. And those are the ones I like to believe are mannequins that have come to life through some kind of black magic. Um, or maybe not black magic, because they don't necessarily seem evil. Just some kind of magic, I don't know. Is black magic evil in magic circles? Because I, I would think that black magic wouldn't maybe necessarily be evil in general. It's just a different kind of magic. Or maybe it's just totally, like, do I have any magic users out there? <laughs> Any witches or warlocks? Yeah, have a nice day. All right. Come on, guys. Come on, you guys better start spending some money. I'm done at $2,900. That's not going to do it. What am I saving up money now for? I guess another store expansion. What's it? What's the next one? I think it's like 60-something thousand. I'll have to go check it out. 50? Have a good one, buddy. What's up, Tara? Sweater guy? Did we name sweater guy? I thought we did. But I don't know. He doesn't look like the other sweater guy. Is there more than one sweater guy? Yo, sweater guy. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, let's pay our bills as well. Oh, okay. Uh, not licensed growth. Yep, 64,500. That's 65,000. I don't know why he has those weird numbers. It's never like something like normal. It's always like something 64,500. 52,400 or something like that. Look at those two, man. Doppelgangers. We definitely are living in the Matrix here. I mean, like, I always see, like, doppelgangers everywhere. Definitely glitches. Look at these people walking right through each other. Is this one of those mannequin ladies? Eh, not really. Kind of. A little bit. A little bit. Come on, guys. My register's open. What do you think I'm here for? I'm freaking wasting my time. I'm just going to close this thing and go, go on break if, you know, someone doesn't... Use this register. I don't understand. I don't understand. Five people in line. No one wants to come to my register. I'm just sitting here playing Tetris on my phone waiting. All right. There we go. Finally. Give me something to do. Uh, 71.50. Have a nice day. Okay. Because I'm too fast. I'm too dope. I'm too dope on the register. Oh, look at this. A lot of dog food there, buddy. Oh, a lot of microwave dinners. I like it. Have a nice day. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the light. There we go. Come on, guys. What the heck? What the heck? Did I ban a lot of people last time? You know, I think I did. I think I banned a lot of people last, uh, yesterday. Hmm. So people are like, don't want to come. <laughs> These people are buying like one item. Like, they're like, I'm going to want to go ahead. Cages register. We're going to get banned. All right. What's up, Tara? I used to know a girl named Tara who had those hoop earrings. That's why I call this Lady Tara all the time. 231. 75. Have a nice day. 
Okay, eight twenty-five. Five, six, seven, eight. Have a nice day. Really, guys, that's it. Like two people, and I'm done. Maybe if I went really slow, I'd get more people on my register. Okay, let's try that. Oh, I can't. I can't even. Like three items, and I can't even deal with it. Have a good one, man. Okay. Hey, there's old Frank. I saw um Psycho Sid earlier too. There's Dapper Dan. Come on. Register one's open. Register one is open. Damn, man, these people are whack today. What's up? What's up with this? There you go. I'm not gonna make sixty-four thousand dollars if they keep going in the other registers. It'll take too long. Have a good day. Yeah. And four dollars. Have a good day. Oh, this guy's jacked. Look at this guy. This guy just came from the gym. You know this guy's buying muscle milk, probably ham, and uh, anything with protein, no carbs. Oh, maybe we could sell pro uh, protein bars. I think I think selling protein bars could be pretty fun. There you are. Look at this guy. Look at this freaking guy. Uh, one dollar. Have a nice day. Line one's open. Line one is open. Nobody wants to go on line one. You know, you guys are jerks. You're hurting my little feelings. Uh, 104. Have it going. Ugh. I should, I should wait, make them wait. Yeah, you're gonna wait. Nah, no, that's not fair. That's not fair. He didn't do anything. He came on my register. He's, he's one of the good ones. Uh, five bucks. Have it going. What's up? Uh, what do we call someone who's like, who's really jacked? What do you, what do you think you're gonna call this guy? Um... He looks like a Sean. Buff Sean. There you go, Buff Sean. I won't remember that. It's not a great name. I think of a good name for him. De definitely looks like a Sean. 97. How's it going, bro? Okay, 9 o'clock. We're up to $10,000 again. Make a freaking bank! Alright, you know what? You're all on your own. I'm gonna go around look around. Let's see how things are going here. Yeah, okay. Coffees. Yeah, they definitely have trouble keeping up with this, uh, with the amount of customers we're getting. But it's not like we're running out of stuff, so it's not that big of a deal. But, uh, and I can't hire any more st stalkers. Like, there's nothing I could do. <gasps> if we started running out of stuff, well, I guess there is something I could do if we started running out of stuff. I'd have to put more, I more of that item out. You know? Uh, like, let's say, hypothetically speaking... We started running out of uh, candy. I would have to make like a whole thing of candy and just try and find room somewhere else for the chocolate. Uh, stuff's looking good. Yeah, I mean, but we're not we're not out of anything, and honestly, we're not even really close to being out of anything. Uh, it's going good. Plus, I can help stock. Should I help stock? All right, I'm gonna help stock. Let's get those uh, brown books. Go. Look at me go. I'm helping. I'm helping people. Okay. That's too slow, man. I'm like freaking Speedy Gonzalez. Uh, are you doing pink books? Nope. I'll do the pink books. Once upon a time. I wonder why he decided to make all the books, books for children. I wonder if there's a reason behind that. All right, what else? Uh, let's do red and blue coffee. See, this is cool, though. I, I like the idea of you, you... Yeah, I guess you don't have to help the stalkers, but I like the idea of helping the stalkers and it meaning something. Like, theoretically, I could just go upstairs and talk to my wife and hang out with my cats and leave the game on, and the stalkers will get everything done. I can come down later and, you know, shut down the game. But I like the idea of, like, 
you being able to help them and it, it'll actually help your store. Um, so, I mean, I don't know how much it's actually helping. Because technically, technically, if you don't run out of anything, there's no harm. But, I don't know. I still like to help them out a little bit. Let's get some green cheese. Green cheese. I'm starting to learn where everything is in my um, in my storage again because what the heck am I doing over there? Uh, yeah, because when I moved everything, I I knew where things were, and then I I rearranged the whole storage room in last episode, and uh, yeah, I started really getting turned around in there, and like, I didn't know where anything was. Now I know where everything is. Uh, it didn't take that long either. All right, how are we looking now? I think everything else is looking pretty good. I guess I'm gonna let them do the rest of it. Because uh, we are almost done. All right, guys, let me know in the comments how many negatives do you think we got today? I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with five. I'm going to go with five. All right, three, two, one. Oh, 11, okay. Oh, $11,000 too. Love it. Okay. Mim cheese and sliced bread. Mim cheese. What's mim cheese? Is that is that one of these? Yep, it's this one right here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave that. And then uh, sandwich bread. I think it's sandwich bread. Oh, they both say sandwich bread. All right, whatever. I'll just look at them both. Uh, you know what? I'm going to want to lower that one a little bit, I think. it's You're still making more than average. It's still 50% mark uh, profit margin. And I'll check, take a look at this one, too. Oh, okay. $5. I'm glad I decided to look at it. Damn. Very cool. So, guys, I think the paper towels and the extra toilet paper and the toothpaste and the fabric softener was a good addition to the store. I, I think it was. I think it was perfect. I didn't have to deal with any of the fridges or the freezers. It was just um, shelf space. And I think that it's not too many. It's not like seven items. It's four. Definitely a lot easier to deal with that. Uh, but I think we're pretty much at... I, I mean, I'm not saying I won't get another license, but uh, I don't see me getting another license until he makes the storage bigger. So we'll just have to see how that goes. All right, guys, I'm going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.